I play this terribly. I'm not used to playing on King Difficulty. I did a test game on King Difficulty and I did fine, but I, I'm thinking I just got lucky. <laughs> What's up, citizens? This is kj 4 e and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Civilization VI. Not just any Civilization VI. Rise and Fall DLC. Alright, guys. Um, for those of you who have followed the channel for a little while, you'll know I've got a ton of... Or I, I used to have a lot of Civilization V content. Um, I started Civilization VI when it first came out. About 30, 27 to 30 turns in somewhere in that area. I ran into a game-killing bug, and I just never got back to it. People have been asking me to get back to it. Um, the DLC's out. I've been playing it on stream. I've been playing it by myself, and I've been having a great time. So let's go to create a game here. Um, I don't know a lot about the uh, civilizations here. Uh, there's a lot about this game I don't know. Um, but one thing I do know is I love me some some Pound Maker, man. This guy is a freaking bomb, dude. Um, we're going to play the Kree. All right, uh, there's a bunch of stuff here, but the one thing I want to show you most most importantly is the Mekiwap, Mekiwap, I'm not really sure to say that, um, but this is a builder construction upgrade that provides one production and one housing. That's really good. Um, it also gets you gold if it's adjacent to a luxury resource. For every two adjacent bonus resources, you get food, and it just goes up. You get additional production, gold, food, and housing as you advance through um, the civics and technology tree. I must be placed adjacent to a bonus or luxury resource, and you can't build them adjacent to other Mickey Wops. Uh, Mickey Wop? Mickey. It sounds like Mickey. If I had to guess, I'm thinking it's Mickey Wop. You guys let me know in the comments. I actually Googled it. I couldn't find any information about how to pronounce it. But this, this is who we're going to be playing, man. This dude is awesome. Uh, this guy also gets... Um, uh, they get plus one trade route uh, capacity and a free trade uh, trader with the pottery technology. Unclaimed tiles within three uh, tiles of the Cree city come under Cree control when the trader first moves into them. It's awesome. Um, what else? All alliance types provide shared visibility. Your tra yeah, um, your trade routes grant plus one food for pound maker per camp or pasture. Camps and pastures. Okay. All right. Uh, trade routes grant plus one gold from pound maker for camps or pastures in the receiving city. So yeah, so they're this, this, I really, really like, uh, really like the Cree. Um, down here also, uh, we have the Cree unique ancient era unit that replaces the scout. I'm not going to try and say that name. Um, strong recon reconnaissance unit starts with one free promotion. Now this guy is freaking insane because as far as I can tell, he has just as much strength as a warrior. So you don't make warriors, you make the scouts. They can move quicker. They start off with a free um, free promotion. The only thing that makes the warriors better is you can upgrade them later on when you get into better technologies. So you got to keep that in mind. All right. Game difficulty. All right. So Prince is, is normal difficulty. We're going to go up to King. Um, game speed, standard, continents, and small. Let's get started. All right. Let's listen to some Sean Bean, shall we? Come on, Mr. Bean, let's do this. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Poundmaker, you bear the fate of the Cree without complaint. None doubt the skill okay, of that's you. Enough for you. All right, so let's take a look. At, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, now, whenever I play this game, I usually show yield icons, but I'm gonna try and play with them off because they do clutter up the screen quite a bit. I'm also gonna press G to get rid of the grid. There we go. This looks like an incredibly good uh, starting spot. Is that actually a hill I'm standing on? I believe it is. Um, woods, um, woods, river, movement costs, uh, grasslands, hills. Wow. Yeah, this is a good spot. Let's see what we got here. We've got some luxury. We got a luxury resource here. We've got a different luxury resource here. Oh my god! This is this is a ridiculous starting spot. Um, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the yields. I mean, it's got food up the wazoo. It's got production. It's got everything. Let's go ahead and start the first city. All right, I am going to be. You can rename your cities, right? Um, that's one thing I don't know. Um, I do want to rename my cities. There we go. All right, first city is going to be. You know, I've got such a great imagination. I'm gonna call it Cage Town. There we go. I actually like the sound of Cage Town. It actually sounds pretty good. It reminds me of Old Town. You know, and I think that's a pretty cool name for a city. Anyway, 
Uh, so let's see what we got here. So we've got some mountains here. That could be a possible uh, spot for a science building. What is that? The um, what is the science building? I don't remember. We'll f we'll find out in a moment. I'm gonna go right here for some uh, for some view. We want to be scouting as much as we can early. And the reason we want to be scouting early is because two of the new systems in this new DLC. And um, again, I'm completely ignorant of this new DLC, but I do know two of the systems. There is loyalty, which we're not gonna have to worry about for a little while. But there's also era score okay so now is the best i can tell is the world is going to move forward in eras and if you get behind you'll be considered in a dark age if you keep up with the era you'll be a normal age and if you're ahead of the era you'll be a golden age now we're gonna get, this is era score right and this is how long it's gonna be before we move um ahead in an era 40 to 60 turns Okay, now all, there's all different kinds of stuff you could do for era score. I don't really know. I, well, I do know taking barbarians out is some of it. And there's all different kinds of things you can do. Honestly, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I kind of just play the game. And, uh, you know, that stuff will come. All right, so this is um, some pretty bad... Where's my guy working? Okay, so he's working here. Sets two food, um, one production... And three gold. Is that gold really important? I think I want the other, I want I think I want the extra production, to be perfectly honest. Um if we move over here, we'll we'll lose three gold, but we'll get two gears uh for production. I think I want to do that actually. Um so let's do that. I don't normally micromanage like this, but um so that should help with production. Yeah, that, that's shaving two turns off of making uh, our first scout unit. So we're gonna go ahead and make our first scout unit. We're gonna choose research now. What do we got in here? So we've got that's a luxury, that's animal husbandry. This is irrigations farther down the road. Um, this is just a bonus resource. Now it's animal husband. Oh, this is an easy choice. Actually, what is the um, what is the the boost for animal husbandry? Is there one? Yeah, there's no boost for these first couple of uh, uh there's, there's no boost for these first couple of technologies. Um, let's see some of the boosts we can possibly do. Farm a resource. Um, meet another civilization. Kill with a slinger. I do want to kill with a slinger for that archery bonus. I really like that archery bonus. So we're gonna our for our next unit will probably be a slinger. All right, but we need that scout because we need to be scouting. Um, you want to find natural wonders and stuff. Um, this era score thing is really like early game about scouting, and I actually want to get a golden age in my first uh, my first era because um, if I get a golden age, it's gonna allow me to do some things with faith that I don't think you could do without a golden age. I'm not really positive on that, but oh my goodness, this area is ridiculous. All right, let's get rid of some of these yields. Oh, we got barbarians already. Now, as far as I understand, these barbarians, if they find you, then the scouts will go back to the barbarian camp and send barbarians at you. I think if you kill the scouts before they get back, there, no barbarians will come at you. Um, but this is going to be a problem, and there's obviously a barbarian camp down here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring our warrior back and get ready for that. There's some desert down here, which is a little bit disappointing. But I guess, you know, you can't have it all. So hopefully the area around me is not too bad. All right, so there's, this is where they're coming from. Down here somewhere. All right, well, I'll just scout this way then. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, that's no guarantee that's where the scout came from, but that's where I saw him coming from, so... That's what I'm assuming uh, he's coming from. All right, next turn. It looks like we're going to have a scout in a couple turns. Our city's also going to grow in a couple of turns, which is nice. Uh, let's go this way. Come on, you freaking dirty barbarians. We gotta kill that scout. I don't know if the scout has to go back and tell the barbarian encampment. I'm pretty. I thought that's the way it worked, but I I don't know. You know. Oh wow. What do we got here? Amber. Okay. I think we're gonna check out this area. This looks pretty interesting over here. I really like having scouts in Cactus. Oh, there we go. All right. So we just did something. You have trained this. Oh, you trained your, your first unique uh, unit, which give me four, which is already giving me four era score. It's, it's incredible. So we're going to go this way, and then we're going to choose production. What do I go to next? Um, a settler would be nice. I do have a lot of good land. A builder would be good as well. Honestly, the slinger might be nice. I think what we're going to do is we are going to go with the settler. And maybe I'll do two settlers, or I'll do a settler and a, and a, um, a slinger. I'm not really sure. we got to take care of the scout, though. See, look at this. Look at this, man. Man, these 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 claw guys, or uh, sit-taw guys, are just ridiculous. Um, and look at them. They've got 20 combat strength, and so does the warrior, right? And they can also move much better than the warrior. 
All right, so I got my unique unit right there. Um, oh, those guys come out with a promotion. I usually save the promotions because you can use it to heal later as well. Oh, there's another scout. He sees me. So this scout might have just been a generic scout. You see the little exclamation point above his head? Uh, barbarians have spotted your city. Yeah, I think that means that they're going to send barbarians to my city. I don't know. Maybe if I kill the scout in time, maybe they won't send them to my city. I really don't know, but we're going to see what he does. We're going to see if he runs away or not. Probably run away. Yeah, he's going to run away. They're going to send barbarians. If there are no dogs in heaven. Right, so we got some, uh, we got some uh, animal husbandry going on there. So we're just going to follow this ass clown. We're going to do some more research. Um, again, I would like to get a kill with a slinger. So I'm going to hold off for that right now. Um, we've got... We could do mines, quarries. It allows you to chop wood. Um, I never know when I should chop wood or not. Um, I think rainforests are something you probably want to chop down. So that might be something I'm looking at. Uh, also, I have some of this over here. Uh, quarry um, unlocks the ability to construct quarries, mines. Yeah, I think we're gonna go pottery because I wanna uh, I wanna unlock the 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 Miki Wop. Man, I, I don't feel like I'm saying that right. <laughs> oh, what, what did I do that for? I wasn't looking and I... Oops. Oopsie. Um, you know, I should put a city up here. That'd be a great place for a... Damn it, I want to know what that thing's called. I want to know what that thing's called. Hold on. Campus! That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you want to put that... You want to put the campus right there. I'll bet you that'd be a really nice place for a campus. Although, I'm not breaking up a, a bonus resource for a campus. So, yeah. Well, what are you going to do? Alright, let's look over here. I don't see anything over there. That's fine. Let's come on down here. There, the scout's trying to get away. He's not going to get away because my scouts are better. All right, so we got 10 turns for... Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's get back to town. We're going to take these clowns out. All right, you need to get back. You need to get back ASAP. I love these guys, though, man. They can move around so well. They're just awesome. Really like this. Uh, I really like this civilization quite a bit. All right, so we just met somebody. What's you know, up, bro? And that means we will got a boost. Um, yeah, you're fine. We got a boost somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Tech boost. These barbarians are all over the freaking. Oh, cool! They're fighting his scout, so that's nice. So that's good. Ooh, if I can get these, uh, if I can knock out these, uh, what are they? Uh, slingers. That would be sweet. Uh, can I go there and then attack? I don't think I can. I think if I go here, I can't attack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. We're gonna attack here. Got, oh, I should have brought this guy over here. No, actually, it wouldn't have helped. All right, let's bring this guy over here, and then we'll... Look at these Look at these guys. You see what I'm talking about with these, uh, these scouts? They're ridiculous. All right. So, I don't think these guys are going to be able to kill any of my guys, but I don't know. The Slinger will get a free shot. Although, I guess... Yep, the Slinger's going to get a free shot. That means... Why did they attack these guys? It would have made sense of... You're not going to beat me, are you? No, you're not going to beat me. You should have attacked this guy. If all This is not wisdom. All right, let's put some uh, combat strength versus barbarians. And we're going to do faith and gold in the capital. That's going to allow us to get some uh, some nice early faith. Um, these guys should have attacked this guy. They could have wiped him out. Um, okay, so you're right there. So that's not a kill. That's a kill. And I kind of want to leave these guys alive. I think we're going to lose some guys here. Um, we probably should have made a... Uh, we probably should have made a slinger. Hold on. Nope. Okay, Slinger's, uh, 140. Okay. All right, I really don't want to lose this Barbarian. Um, if the Barbarian attacks this guy, this guy attacks this guy, and my Barbarian can run away, they'll be safe-ish. Um, okay. So why don't you, uh, take him out, and you're gonna kind of move over here. Just to try and stay alive. Because you're not doing too well. All right, we need a civic. All right, what are we looking at? Craftsman, um, yeah, production towards builders or or joint war allows the creation of trade routes. Yeah, I'm going to go, oh, that's 24. Discover a second content or improve, improve three tiles. Let's take a look at the tech tree. Um, I'm going to want a governor tile sooner rather than later. Oh, I didn't, I didn't explain to you the way governors work. So you have, um, you have loyalty and now you have governors and certain things in the, in the civic street will get you governors and governors will help you with loyalty. Like if you build one of your cities on the border of an enemy city, you'll get all kinds of pressure and you'll have problems with the loyalty. The governor will, will help with that. So I do want a governor spot. Uh, ooh, which way do I want to go? Uh, what's, what is this? The Oracle. 
and an envoy or flanking bonus to all combat units. That's tough. We want to do one or the other. We don't want to do both. All right, let's go this way. Um, actually, do I like this or this? That's production towards settlers. Yeah, let's go with uh, let's go with early empire. Okay. Next turn. Uh, my trade is arriving soon. Yeah, sure. We will welcome you. We want to be friends. This guy could be very close to us. All right, so this guy's gonna try and take out my uh, my scouts. Oh boy, they're gonna take out my scouts. Damn it! I forgot I'm playing on on uh, King difficulty. I'm not playing on my regular difficulty. Oh boy. All right, so we're gonna have to run away now. Or can we get back into the city? If we go here, we will be attacked. So I think we need to run away. Oh, good slingers! All right, that, we're gonna lose that guy. All right, you know what? This is um this is really really bad start. Really bad start. We gotta go to slinger. We gotta switch. We got no choice. Oh boy. I play this terribly. I'm not used to playing on King Difficulty. I did a test game on King Difficulty and I did fine, but I, I'm thinking I just got lucky. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting I'm getting really destroyed here, and I just have to uh hope I don't lose my my I, they can't take your They can't take your uh your 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 capital, so we just got and there's nothing out there's nothing out here they can do to hurt me so i could just sit there with the no slinger. man ever wetted clay okay research um we're going to get that kill with the slinger uh what about this this will give me uh plantation marshes um let's go with mining what unit needs order oh a trade i have a trade route but i don't i don't have anywhere to send it all right, I think I could put my guy to sleep. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so if you don't have anywhere to put the trader, you could put him to sleep. Man, this is this is the worst start I've ever gotten off to a, in a, a Civ game. But I'd rather get off to a rough start and have a challenge and like just walk over the game, you know? So it's fine. Like I said, I did do a test world, um, but <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. I got lucky. Um, I probably had people around me that were handling the barbarians, and that's probably why I got lucky. There we go. You're dead. All right, so that's one right there. We got it. Oh, th does this does it actually keep the settler? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know if it would do that. So that's cool. So I actually didn't waste any of my time with that settler. All right, so um, I think we're gonna need another uh, another scout. Yeah, I mean, where do we want to where do we want to put our next um town? I kind of want to look at that off off camera though. Let's uh let's go ahead and bring up the icons and the grid, and I'm thinking one, two, three, four. That is a really nice spot for a town. I mean, really nice spot for a town. Um, I couldn't scout up here, so I don't know if there's anything better. Two, three, four. I, I don't know what's up there. Um, so this would have plenty of food. It's got production. It's going to get the horses. It's going to get... Um, it's probably going to get this. One, two, three. It'll get this eventually. All that one, two... Yeah, it'll get this eventually. And it's right on the border of the, the desert. So it's not going to get hurt by stupid desert tiles. Um, I'm just thinking about where I want to put the campus. Uh, I guess that really doesn't matter. Yeah, I like that town. So what we're going to do is we're going to pin that. That's going to be our first town. Yeah, I usually don't like looking for cities on camera because it's just kind of, you know, blah. But, um, yeah. Alright, jerks. You going to come at me or what? I'm going to go ahead and let's get in these woods and then we're going to fortify. Man, this is rough, dude. Oh, there he comes. They, they, they want a piece. They want a piece. This might be my second... Do you need two kills for archery or one? I think it was two. So there we go. There's our second kill. I think it was just one kill, by the way. But whatever. We got another one. Oh, no! Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. That was for bronze working. What was bronze working? Uh, Kill three barbarians. Cool. And we did get the archery one as well. Um, Where is the... Ar yeah, there we go. Okay. we're All right. We're starting to... Yeah, starting to pull it around a little bit. Um, really want to get that gold. When you find but... yourself in a hole. All right, I want you to rest until healed. Is that a good spot for the rest? The rest right here. All right, research. Yeah, let's go archery for sure. And then I'm gonna upgrade these uh these slingers to archers. Okay, so we got some more slingers coming in. Oh no! That is not what I wanted to do. I thought they would have attacked. Well, that's awful. All right, well. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh man, this has been a uh, episode of mistakes. Okay, 
guys. I'm gonna bring you back here. I'm giving you up here. Let's go right there. I just want to defend for now. Alright, so we gotta get that settler going. Yeah, let's do the settler now. Alright, so we got the upgrade. Um we got an upgrade on him. Well he's out of turn, so he can't he cannot uh, not upgrade, but a um a promotion. Alright, so these guys these guys are gonna get smoked. I should have turned off the animations. I might be able to. Yes, I was able to turn off the uh the attack animations. I kinda like them, but you know, they just slow everything down. Eh. And we still got some attack animations, so that's cool. All right, can't can't bombard from here. Let's go ahead and promote uh, range strength versus land units or strength when occupying a district of four land units. And next turn, All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with these guys before the settler comes out because I'm gonna want the uh, the I don't know what they call these guys, Aki, Akichitas. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Those are the guys we're gonna want to. There we go. All right, so you're gonna come on over here. Choose a Pantheon. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to go with the um, City Growth. City Growth rate 10% higher. It's it's easy. I know I'm going to like it. It's good. I just got a boost. That's awesome. Let's go next turn. All right. So we got this guy coming out. Two turns. We got some guys right there. Can't range attack them. Uh, can I move up and range attack? I should be able... No, because I'm moving out of... Uh... I'm still not sure exactly when you can attack and when you can't. I'm just going to move these guys up. Yes, I can attack. Okay. So what 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 is this um this tile right here? Grasslands. Okay. Right. You gotta finish them. Next turn. Gosh darn barbarians, man, slowing me down. Alright, so I want you to go right there. There we go. And you are going to accompany them. Uh production. Okay, so what we want to do now? Do we want to go to the settler? They really slowed me down. I kinda wanna go to another settler, but to be perfectly honest. I don't see any obvious choices for where to settle next time. I kind of want to look up here before I do anything else. And in that case, we're going to need more. We're going to need more uh, warriors and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and should we go with a builder? A builder wouldn't be terrible. A granary wouldn't, a granary wouldn't be as bad either. I don't have any amenities though. Builder would really help with that. <sighs> nah, we got it. We got to go with the scout. We got to go with the warrior scout. That's what I'm gonna call him, warrior scout. Alright, next turn. Because the barbarians are going to be a son of a bee in this, I'm telling you. Alright, so you're fine there. Why don't you, um, why don't we promote you? Um, faster movements in wood and range forest. Yes. There we go. And one more turn and we'll have our next city. There we go. Next turn. And boom. Okay. That's a good city. Now they wanted me to settle up here. Might have been okay, but... I can reach all the... I'm going to be able to reach this tile, this tile, this tile very easily. And there's nothing beyond it. Well, I don't know what's over here. That's a thing. Um, I think I settled in a, in a good spot. All right. So a brand new city. We want a monument. That's for loyalty. Um, it's also... If you don't need loyalty, it'll give you a culture, which is nice. But I don't really think that's what I want to go with. I think I want to go with a scout. A scout or a greenery. Mm, could do a builder. It's going to take a while, though. Let's go to scout. Okay. May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Got the archer now. Um, so why don't we go ahead and upgrade you to an archer. And you can scout this way. That's the positive aspect. Alright, change policies. Uh, combat, yeah, I still like all these policies. Uh, well, actually, I don't really need the faith that much anymore, but I don't see anything to change it with that would be better. So I'm going to leave it where it is. All right, foreign trade. Let's take a look at this. I want to get the boost to... Where are they? Did I already get them? Two gold from trade routes. Production towards builders. Yeah, I want to go this way. I probably should have went this way first. That's okay. Though. I want to get those. I want to get the boost to production to builders. All right, so this would be... Uh, astrology would be good for religion. I don't really want that right now or need that. Um... Writing would be good as well. I've already got the boost there. Bronze working wouldn't be bad. I already got the boost there. Or let, or allows us to remove rainforests. Um, shows iron. I'm not really needing that stuff right now. Um, farm a resource. I'm going to be farming a resource. So I'm going to wait for the boost for that. I think I'm going to go writing. I think I'm going to go writing. And what I'm going to try and remember to do at the end of every video. Or maybe the beginning of every video. I'm not really sure. But um, we're going to take a look at the world rankings. Okay. 
So for science, uh, seven science per turn. Yeah, so this is all pretty pretty early to be looking at this stuff, but I'm in the bottom of everything. My score is terrible because of those freaking barbarians. But you know what? I got to be ready for him next time. Um, and the only way to learn is to uh, get your get kicked in the teeth a couple times. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more of this, you're excited for Civilization VI Rise and Fall, make sure to mash on that like button. Make sure to let me know in the comments. And uh, I'm going to go record episode two right now because I'm freaking hyped. So <laughs> that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.